Hi, this is Cheryl in the CTLE. We've had a few people stop in recently when their email from campus quit working on their iPhone. Usually this was after changing a password. If you've gone into your email settings and tried to update your password and it's still not working, this is what you can do to fix it. Go into your settings and scroll down until you see mail. Go into your accounts and find the email account that isn't working and just delete it from your phone. Now we're going to add it again. Your instinct would be to tap Google, but use Exchange instead. Type in your full email address, your MEID at gccaz.edu, or if you use a different campus account, use that. Type in your password. Once you've added your password, edit the description. Exchange isn't really very helpful to tell you which email account this is, so you might want to make it GCC or GCC email, whatever you prefer. Tap Next. In this space, add m.google.com for your email server. Leave the domain blank, but you'll need to add your username again. And that's the full email address, meid at gccaz.edu. Tap Next. This screen is asking you what you would like to synchronize, your mail, contacts, calendars, or reminders, or all of the above. Personally, I don't sync my contacts because I don't want every person that I email using my GCC account to be added onto my phone as a contact. So I typically just add the people that I want manually. I do sync my calendars, reminders, and mail. When you're finished with these settings, save and you'll see a brief message that your account was added and then you'll see your account screen and it should have your account on it. If push is turned on where it says fetch new data, your account will begin syncing immediately. There, I just got some email. <laughs> okay, um, let's get out of here and we'll double check in my mail that I now have GCC email in the inbox and I also have a GCC email where I can look at my individual folders. Great. Let's take a look at my calendar and I'll tap calendars and I can see, oh, it just updated. So I do have my calendar right here for GCC and I can, I can decide what color I want it to be. Great stuff. But, uh, with calendars, I typically have uh, have access to other people's calendars and to some shared calendars that we use in the CTLE, and I might want to sync a few of those to my phone as well. So this is how you can do that. Open up Safari and go to m.google.com slash sync slash settings. You'll need to put in your MEID at gccaz.edu and when you tap next you'll be redirected to the Maricopa account login. You know what to do here. Add your MEID and password and sign in. You'll see that I have two uh, iPhones listed here and take a look at the date. One of them was synced last in 2013. That's a phone that I no longer have and haven't had for years. Um, you can also see that there was one synced today. If you have a new phone and you don't see one that with a recent sync, you may need to refresh this page a few times. But once your phone synchronizes fully, 
with your Gmail account, you will see it here. So tap a recently synchronized phone and you'll get the settings page. And this is where you can choose certain settings. I like to enable the delete email as trash so that instead of archiving email that I want to delete, it actually goes to the Gmail trash folder. And then I like to enable send mail as for this device so that I can switch between accounts. And then I want the CTLE calendar so that I can uh, look at my phone and see what events are coming up for the day. And I manage our media studio, so I want to see that calendar um, from mobile as well. But I don't need to see all the other room calendars or who's using the walking workstation or any number of these other calendars that I have access to. So I select the ones that I want to sync and I save the settings. And I want to log out of this page, but first I'd like to make sure that that worked. So I'll just hide Safari and reopen my calendar and tap calendars and there they are took a second for it to sync and so now I can see in my calendar events for these three these three things so I can see that uh, media equipment was reserved today when I'm eating lunch that I'm supposed to be at the wellness fair right now I better get over there <laughs> so now I can go back to Safari and sign out of that page and that, my friends, is how you can fix your connection issues with your Gmail account on your iPhone. Have a great day.